Ray. Ever since her first appearance on the big screen, fans have gone crazy with questions about her like, who is she? Why is she stranded on Jakku? Who are her parents? Why is she so freakishly good at everything she does? Well, that one's easy because, well, you know, the Force, right? That's not how the Force works. Right. Okay, so maybe the Force is not the answer, but the fact that she is Force-sensitive leaves fans scratching their heads wondering who they have to thank for such a beautiful character. And no, I do not mean George Lucas. That's right. I'm here to ask, and hopefully solve, the ultimate question, awakened by Episode 7. Who are Ray's parents? Now, there are a lot of theories all over the web about this. I believe the answer is out there too, among all those crazy seagulls and bushes of love. And all we have to do is find it. And, with a little help from my friend, Trader5-32, I think I've pieced together the solution. Let's start with the grandparents. One of my favorite Star Wars theories, other than that Jar Jar is an evil Sith Lord, which is obviously true, is that Rey is the grandchild of none other than Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, you may be thinking, wait, Jedi can't fall in love. It's against the Jedi Order. But if you think back to the Clone Wars TV series, you'll remember that Obi-Wan always seemed to have a thing for Duchess Satine. At one point, he even mentioned that he would leave the Jedi Order for her. Who's to say that they didn't, well, you know, hold hands, wink wink, during one of those many times that Obi-Wan just goes missing out of nowhere. So what if Satine got pregnant? She wouldn't have told Obi-Wan for fear of ruining his reputation as a Jedi. So the child would have been born secretly, then left an orphan when Satine is killed with the Darksaber, in one of the most heart-wrenching scenes for Star Wars fans ever, might I add. But, it's the same Darksaber that killed Satine that Star Wars Rebels character Sabine Wren picks up in Season 3. The theory is that Obi-Wan and Satine's child is actually Sabine, which means that she is Rey's mother. Now some of you already know this and are about to exit out of this video. Just stick around because I'm getting to the new stuff soon. But for those of you who want proof, this next minute or so is for you. I'll start with the name, which is probably the most obvious and most debatable of all the proof I'm going to offer. Their names are too similar not to be related. I mean, come on, Satine, Sabine, they're only one letter off. Now, I'm no expert on Mandalorian naming, but it might be similar to how most people pass on their last name to their children. Maybe the Mandalorians pass on their first name, but only slightly changed? That does seem to be a theme when it comes to royalty. And that leads me to my next point. Both Duchess Satine and Sabine are Mandalorian, which means that we can basically rule out anyone else in the galaxy. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll get farther into that later. Now to the other side of the tree. There are theories that Rey is also related to the infamous Emperor Palpatine. And for various reasons, too. First, it would explain the importance of her to the First Order. Especially if Snoke is actually Palpatine himself, which I'm not claiming is true or anything. But that's just one boss's child I would not want to lose. Also, the music hints at a relationship based on similarities between Palpatine's theme and the ostinato from Rey's theme. Again, more on that later. Now, I can hear my already haters pecking away at their keyboards about how awful I am and how I am so wrong. But I'd like to point out that I never claim to be an expert. That's Trader 5-32's job. I'm just trying to piece together a solution to satisfy us until episode 8 comes out. And I'm not done yet. If Rey is Palpatine's descendant, then there are obviously some holes missing. Because the Emperor is a little too old to be Rey's father. My guess is that he's actually Rey's great-grandfather. At least. And while we may not directly know his son... We may know Ray's dad, and that would be none other than Ezra Bridger. Again with the typing, come on, hear me out. Think about it. Currently, Ezra would be the easiest one for Sabine to fall in love with, and the speed with which he is currently falling to the dark side cannot be an accident, but more than likely, genetic. 
And although, as far as I know, we have never seen him do Palpatine's signature stabby attack thing, which Rey attempts multiple times, he is very early in his training and has little experience when it comes to lightsaber duels, so there is still time for him to pull it off. I have one more thing to offer up as proof. In Star Wars The Clone Wars, Emperor Palpatine shows up on Mandalore soon after Maul kills Satine. He quickly kills Savage, then goes on to disarm Maul but doesn't kill him. Maul begs for him to have mercy, but Palpatine replies that there is none. He then goes on to shock Maul for a while, but then stops and delivers a very interesting line. Do not worry. I'm not going to kill you. I have other uses for you. <laughs> so what use is he talking about? At the time, we figured we would never know. But then, we see him again, with none other than Ezra Bridger. What if Palpatine sent Maul to protect his family line? It wouldn't be Ezra at the time, because he more than likely wasn't born yet. But it could be one of Ezra's parents. Okay, I just realized that I made a mistake earlier in the video that I would like to rectify. I mentioned earlier that there were holes missing between Palpatine and Ezra but I didn't mention all of the people that we do know. I accidentally left out Ezra's parents, Ephraim and Mira Bridger. They were public opponents of the Empire who were arrested for sending out broadcasts telling people to resist. But just because they were against the Empire doesn't mean that one of them isn't a descendant of the creator of the Empire. Palpatine, that is. If you think back to one of the recent add-ons to the Star Wars Cinematic Universe, Rogue One, You'll pick up on what I mean. Jin Erso's father helped create the Death Star, and she still rebelled against the Empire. In fact, Rogue One, in a way, is a mirror to Rebels, which is a common thing for Star Wars to do. That would make it even more likely that Ezra is a Palpatine. My guess is that it is Mira, Ezra's mother, that descends from the Palpatine line, because that would explain why Ezra's last name is Bridger and not Palpatine. So, let's review. During the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi falls in love with Mandalorian Duchess Satine. Satine becomes pregnant, but doesn't tell Kenobi, and therefore gives birth to Sabine secretly. Maul comes to Mandalore and kills Satine, which makes Sabine an orphan. While Maul is still on Mandalore, Palpatine comes to punish him and kills Savage, but leaves Maul alive and tasks him with protecting Palpatine's granddaughter, Mira Palpatine. Mira marries Ephraim and changes her last name to Bridger and gets pregnant. Ezra is born on the day the Empire is formed. Ezra's parents are arrested for treason, but probably not put to death because of Mira's family line. Ezra grows up an orphan on the streets of Lothal, where he runs into and joins the crew of the Ghost, Sabine included. Sabine and Ezra fall in love, get married, and have a child, who they possibly name Ray. Eventually, something happens, and they have to leave Rey on Jakku with Uncar Plutt. They probably then go off to fight in some battle where they get killed, leaving Rey stranded on Jakku until she runs into BB-8, which they then make a movie about, which causes us to have all these questions in the first place. Whew! Exhausting. Anyway, that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Until we find out for certain, that is. If you want to know more about why Rey is a Kenobi, or why Rey is a Palpatine, or how Rey and Palpatine's themes are similar, I'm putting links to the videos that I got my info from in the description. Have any ideas that I should take into consideration? Know of anything I missed? Let me know in the drop zone below. If you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe and I'll be sure to make some. Oh, and by the way, the only reason I said possibly named Rey is because Rey is also the name written in her helmet on Jakku. So she might actually be named something completely different. Or maybe not. I don't know.